Hi viewers, welcome to LM Solution. Today we are going to see about uh, load frequency control of single area power system. And in load frequency control, we are going to tune the PA controller, proportional integral controller by using PSO algorithm. PSO nothing but uh, particle sum optimization. So by using particle sum optimization, we are going to tune the parameter of uh, KP and K of the PA controller. So first, uh, I am going to explain about uh, single area load frequency control of single area system. Uh, so this is a control block diagram of uh, load frequency control of single area system. Normally, it consists of uh, governor turbine and then inertia load, uh, otherwise called as generator load. So simplified diagram we can find here uh, when generalized diagram. So here you can see that. So this is generalized block diagram for that uh, load frequency control of isolated power system or a single area system. Okay. Uh, here you can see that this is a rotating mass and load and the output will be change in frequency and then it will be process via um, by R. So R nothing but the speed regulation. So output will be uh, power, right? Power, power along to the frequency component. It will be compared with the reference power, right? And then it will be process via governor turbine. So output of the turbine is mechanical power, change in mechanical power. It will be compared with the change in load, right? And then uh, this output will be process via generator load, okay? So here you can see that the frequency, uh, the real power, control right uh, when you have to control the frequency you can control the real power so that is a concept in the LFC load frequency control we are going to control the frequency of the load that's why you can control the um, real power flow in the system and then uh, so this is open loop system so here we don't have any uh, controller right uh, the same that means here I'm going to consider this system this system and then I'm going to implement here by using similar right. So this one I'm going to take the value of this governor turbine and the nation load model. Same thing I'm going to consider here. And then one by R here is they consider 20. So same value I'm going to consider. So 1 divided by 0.2 s plus s, 1 divided by 0.5 s plus 1, 1 divided by 10 s plus 0.8. Okay. And then uh, here I'm going to uh, take this controller output right so this time I'm going to use only this feedback right that means system does not have any controller so just to have that uh, actual system right so here I am going to check the results so this is a result we are getting right so here I am going to take into figure so we have to compare the results okay and then uh, now I am going to connect this system here and then uh, same system right here they used uh, integral controller right so here they are going to use integral controller so where have integral controller you can find here so they are using 7 right so here I am going to put uh, the value of uh, integral controller as 7 and then I am going to make uh, proportional gain equal to 0 and I am going to apply and then I am going to simulate this model. So this is a result we are uh, having now. Okay. So here I am going to take uh, into figure. Okay. So the figure one without controller, figure two is with the uh, integral controller. So next I am going to tune this uh, system, right? Uh, tune this system or uh, tune the uh, PA controller right and by using a PSO so here I am going to make uh, the integral uh, professional controller equal to KP and integral current uh, controller will be KI and next I am going to have uh, MATLAB function so this is a PSO code used for tuning the KP KI so here number of variable here we design uh, fixed at 2 right so here we are going to uh, tune KP KI and then lower band and upper band for that KPK here I am having to fix minus 20 to 20 and then this optimization options used for particle sum optimization 
So this is used to for execute the particle swim optimization in the MATLAB. And then uh, after execution, right, the PSO will be find the uh, optimal optimum value for KPK. In order to that mean uh, here our objective to reduce the error, right? So here I am going to measure different parameter like IAE, IAC, ITAE, and ITSC. That means IAE nothing but the integral of absolute error, integral of square error, integral of uh, time multiplied absolute error, integral of time multiplied square error, right? So here I am going to consider this as the uh, objective function. So this objective function will be minimized in the system, okay? So here we are measuring that objective function. So this function going to be minimized in the system. So while executing this program, right, uh, the PSO will be supplying the KPK AK value for this summary model and then it collect this output like IE, IEC, ITE, ITSC and then finally the PSO will be provide the optimum value for KPK with the minimum value of IE, ISC, ITE, ITSC. So here I am going to simulate this one. Uh, you can see the execution. Here you can see the execution of that term. Uh, sibling model and also here you can see that iteration count and the best value and then fit, uh, fitness function like uh, summation of IAE, IAC, ITAE, ITSC and also here you will see that response for every uh, simulation right and also here you can see that uh, this variation of uh, that objective function so here you can see that so initially maintain it here and then after that iteration is comes to here right and also here you will see that variation variation of fitness function so here i consider 20 iteration right 20 population and uh, 20 iterations so after uh, 20th iteration we will see the results final results So here you can see that now we can see that the objective function uh, had decreased here, right? So after 10th iteration, right? So now we got the results. So result will be available here K and KP. So now I'm going to submit the final model. So this is the final result. Uh, we are getting so this is figure one and figure two and then so this is figure three okay you will see that different side uh, here you will see that the reduction in the o, o shoot under shoot right so finally we will get the better result and then normal uh, integration right and also you can simulate that when you can execute this iteration for uh, under times okay and then you can get the better result okay uh, but on the uh, timing for a completion of the iteration it may be it take long time and uh, like it may be take 30 minutes or one hour if suppose you are going to increase the number of population or number of iteration right and also you can change the parameter of PSO so in order to change the parameter just you have to go for option optimization option here so you, you will see that how to change the parameter of the PSO so just you have to change the parameter like uh, C1, C2 right that value you can change here okay so you can see the uh, insertion how to change C1, C2 everything only here so you can change that one so this is a model that means uh, PSO used to attain the parameter of KPK in the load frequency control of uh, single area system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe your channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.